All right, welcome back. Uh, we're taking a look at doing a pedal slide. So th these are really awesome. My wife's shorter than me. I'm six foot five, so my wife's only like five ten, which is tall. But you still have to have this adjustment in here for both of us. So uh, I run CNC pedals. Uh, Jamar's great. Uh, CNC is great. I do have the import brands. They are okay. Uh, they're much cheaper, but. Uh, I, I like the CNC's and the Jamar personally. So this is a pedal slide. Um, I do have a couple brands of these. Um, um, there's a Jamar brand and an import brand. I, I run the import brand pedal slide. It's just way cheaper. It works just fine. Um, how it works is you've got a couple of wing nuts here. These wing nuts loosen and tighten for your um, fine adjustment. And then there's a, a pull plug back here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right there, my fingers are on it. That, that's your um, that's your main lever to move the the whole pedal slide forward and backwards. So one of the key things is you want to make sure you have these flex lines here. Um, this whole kit, the flex line, the flex lines, and this little port block, it's like 80 bucks, which is ridiculous if you ask me. But that's what they're charging for these things. Um, you could easily just do some little adapters, right? Just adapt this line to this line. Um, you know, it'd be much cheaper, but it's cool. You know, I have to have the cool factor in my buggy, right? Uh, and then I, I have AN lines, AN fitting for my brake lines there. So that's a couple of the basic components. One of the key things is you're gonna need this uh, a cable adjuster right here. So this little wing nut here, you just loosen it, right? And then as the pedal, as the pedal slide assembly moves forward and backwards, this whole slide will move, so you can see how that's moving as well, right? And then, so you want to make sure you tighten it up when you're done. Um, another key factor is you have to make sure that your um, throttle cable is secure because you don't it's, you don't want to be moving. It'll it'll mess everything up. So make sure that I, I use these little clamps here. There's also these uh, things called cable L clamps that you can use. These are just a little cleaner, and you know, like I said, I have to go for the cool factor on my own buggy, right? So. Uh, they're also they're a little more expensive. You can go with the cheaper L clamps, and then uh, one of the options on your pet your slide is that you can have it with or without a roller pedal. So I, I don't have a roller pedal. I have the, I have a standalone throttle right here. Um, so this little billet area on the the pedal slide is for the standalone. Uh, if you had a roller pedal, it's no big deal. They just make it with the, the pedal slide comes without this. It's a different part number. You can check it out on sandparts.com. See. Um, exactly the setup. Another key thing you want to make sure you do is you want to have a pressure residual valve, okay? So these are like two, four, six, eight, ten. They come in different pressures depending if you have two piston calipers, disc brakes, drum brakes, whatever it is. So here's the deal. When I hit my brakes, I mean, I got pressure right there. So that's because of that pressure residual valve and I also have some pretty awesome brakes. So anyway, thanks for taking a look. Sandparts.com. Take care, guys.